All right, uh, we're going to tie a billfish popper. It can be used for a litany of blue water species. Uh, this is kind of unique though in that we're not going to use a vise, we're not going to use any thread whatsoever. Uh, this is uh, pretty much just foam and glue and feathers. So to start out, uh, the first thing we're going to do with this fly is we're going to take a piece of cylindrical foam. This will be the head of our fly. Uh, this will be a great popping head for the rest of the body of the fly to gain attention out there. And we are going to size up a, a piece of tube fly tubing. Uh, this will go through the middle of this cylindrical cone. We are going to uh, slide this tube fly tubing into the middle of this uh, cylindrical piece of foam. Because we're not going to be tying anything onto this, we really don't need to worry about leaving any space uh, to attach fly tying materials around the body of this tube. We are going to want to leave about a quarter of an inch for our junction tubing, and that will hold the hook onto this tube fly. Uh, keeping that in mind, we will trim this tube fly material. Just kind of round it out a little bit, make sure there's no rough or sharp edges. Then we're going to want to use about a half inch of our junction tubing material, and this will provide the junction between the hook in the body of that tube fly. That'll slip right onto the tube fly material as such. And then we'll slide the eye of our hook right into that junction material. Uh, now we can just take this piece of tube fly material and set it aside. We're gonna prep our foam cone uh, for the feathers that we're gonna be gluing into it. And to do so, we're gonna heat up our bodkin making sure that steel is nice and hot. And then giving yourself a little bit of room from the edge of that, we're gonna to start to just melt that foam into a series of circles around the edge of this foam cylinder. Each one of these holes that we're melting into this foam now is where we will be sticking feathers uh, in just a couple of minutes after we've completed this step. So no thread, we're not tying anything onto anything, we're just creating holes right now. Uh, we're going to be dipping the stems of shlape and feathers into epoxy and we'll be setting them into these holes, creating the body of our fly all the way around that foam cylinder. This is a really easy fly to do. Um, when I'm lucky enough to go on a crazy saltwater fly fishing adventure, I will not bring a full tying kit if I'm using big blue water flies. I'll just bring some feathers. Um, you can find epoxy anywhere in the world in any hardware store and some foam cones. You can always find a source of flame and a piece of metal. So these are great flies uh, to tie on the road if you need to. Require a very minimal set of feathers and materials. Now that we've completed our ring of circles around that foam cone, we're going to get our bodkin nice and warm one more time. And we're going to go through the middle of this foam cylinder, melting out a spot for us to put uh, our tube fly tubing through. Again, we're just going to take our time, go nice and easy. As we get to the head, go nice and slow. You can always adjust. If it's not centered the way you like, using the kind of residual heat that's in that steel, just burrowing out a nice melted hole that we'll eventually slide our tube through. Now that we've got that ready, the next step will be to covering this film cylinder in some metallic uh, tape. This is sold in craft stores. It's by the sheet. Uh, it comes in a million different colors and varieties. And we're basically just going to kind of line up the edges of our foam cylinder with that tape. And I'm going to go, if you can see, a little bit long at the end. And this will just kind of hide any glue that sticks out. It's for aesthetic purposes only, really. Uh, but it'll hide any lumpiness or unpleasant looking feather butts or anything else uh, after we glue them into the fly. So we've cut it to the appropriate width to cover our tube with a little bit extra on the end. So 
I'm just going to remove this adhesive backing from this metallic tape. And this particular billfish fly is going to be what's kind of called a dorado color. This is the saltwater dorado, the dolphin fish, the blackened mahi-mahi. Uh, this is a huge forage base for most pelagic billfish. And we are just going to cover this white foam cylinder with this gold tape. Once I've gotten to the end here, I'm going to leave myself an eighth to a quarter inch extra just to make sure we get a nice tight seal with that tape. Continue it around, finish the body of that fly. Now on this one, just add a little contrast and to keep with the Dorado color theme, we're going to use some waterproof markers and put some accents on this fly. I'm going to do just a couple strips of green. And then we're going to do the back or the top of this head in a blue. That'll give us a nice multicolored head to that fly, just like a natural bait fish. And then I'm going to attach at this point uh, two half inch silver prismatic eyes. Come right off the sheet. We're going to line those up with this stripe in our color. And I'm looking from the bottom to make sure they're roughly lined up laterally. And that will be the head of our fly. The next thing we're going to do is take some three minute epoxy and mix that with our bodkin. This is what we will use to attach the feathers into the foam cylinder. And for the feathers on this fly, keeping with the Dorado color pattern, we're going to be using a yellow, uh, a chartreuse, a turquoise, and then kind of a uh, green grizzly schlepen. And we're going to want to line these colors up. We're going to have the darker colors on the top of the fly and the lighter colors on the bottom. So first thing we'll do is we'll grab two or three pieces of schlepen, aligning the butts of the feathers about three at a time. We'll align those butts. And I'm going to dip them into the three minute epoxy that we just made up. And because they are yellow, they're going to go on the bottom of this fly. We're just going to push those feather stems into the hole that we created with the epoxy. And we'll continue to do this around that cylinder and the holes that we just burned. We're keeping the yellow feathers on the bottom to match the color scheme perfectly. Because we're making our epoxy in little batches, not to waste any, we're going to mix another small batch of this three minute epoxy as we work our way around the fly and square off our butts on these feathers. Dip them in the epoxy. And we're going to line them up with the next hole insert them into that hole. Now we're going to do a couple bands of chartreuse on each side as we work our way up to the top of this fly. Just like the other feathers, three at a time. Dip the butts of those feathers into the epoxy. Insert them into one of the holes that we melted out of the foam cylinder. This is the true arts and crafts style of fly tying. A little bit more epoxy. 
Fun for the whole family. Get the kids involved. They can't mess this one up. Three more pieces of the chartreuse schleifen into the next hole above the yellow. Now we'll do the turquoise. And we're going to start our turquoise above our chartreuse. And you can see now why we left a little edge on that foil. It's covering all that glue and epoxy up perfectly. Three more of the turquoise. Into the epoxy above the chartreuse on the opposite side. We're going to finish it off with this olive grizzly. Provide a nice fishy back to this fly. Hair more epoxy. Align the butts of the feathers. And on this one, you'll notice a little bit of that schlapen goes all the way down. I'm going to go ahead and strip that off. So we have a nice solid point to dip into the epoxy as well as to slide into those melted holes. And we're going to put these two sets right up on top of the back of this fly. Notice there's no flash in this fly. When you're fishing for billfish, you want to keep your flash to a minimum. If you use it, you want it to be a very stiff material. Otherwise, the fly will just get tied up on the nose and the bill of that billfish. And if you can't get it in their mouth, you can't hook them. So flash is in a minimum. The flash will come from the head on this fly. We've got one hole left. I'm going to add a little or a turquoise to this side. Just to finish it off, we'll be done. You may want to go back through. It's often helpful to uh, tie these in stages. I'll do all the heads one night and the feathers the next night. You'll notice that the ink from these permanent markers hadn't really dried on that tape once we started playing with it. So I'm just going to go back through and touch that up. After this, we can set it aside to dry overnight and it'll be fine. Um, one thing you might want to do uh, with these flies, just to make sure they're as durable as possible, we're fishing in the deep blue sea, is uh, go ahead at the end, and this is something you'll absolutely have to do in stages as you rotate your fly, but I'll put a little bit of epoxy on the bottom, just where this tape comes in together. I'm going to push the edges of the tape together and have a little base of epoxy that's uniting it, tying it into that foam. It tends to kind of just melt right on in there, and you can go around and just give yourself a little bit of epoxy on the edge of that tape to keep it so it really adheres to that foam cylinder. At this point, we've created, created a Dorado uh, fly. We are going to slide our tube in to that hole in the middle that we burned out in kind of the last step before we started applying the feathers. You really kind of got to work the feathers out of the way to get into the center of the tube here. Or you can just go in straight from the head and attach the junction tubing on the back once you've got it in. The feathers have rolled over too tightly. Just going to slide that foam through that hole that we melted, or the tube, rather, through that hole that we've melted out. Clean up any loose strands. Attach our junction tubing to the end of that tube. Smooth it all back together, and you're done. For less than $2 and about 15, 20 minutes of time, 
created a Dorado, Bellfish Fly.